This morning, the risk of a nuclear accident at Ukraine's Zaporizhia power plant is rising. Fighting around the facility sparked a fire seen in these satellite images. Experts say that caused the plant to become disconnected from the power grid for the first time in its history. If you lose all of these power sources, you're unable to keep the reactor cool. It will then overheat and you potentially can be in a meltdown type scenario, a reactor meltdown. President Zelensky says a meltdown was narrowly avoided because of backup generators that run on diesel fuel. But no one knows how much diesel the Russians, who have occupied the plant since March, have left. Nuclear accidents, quite often they revolve around things that have very tiny probabilities of happening, but potentially dire consequences. The outage shutting off power in a nearby town, cutting off water pumps and sewer service to the area, and raising concerns of a potential humanitarian crisis. The director general of the International Atomic Energy Agency said on French TV inspectors could be heading to the plant in a matter of days. Now there is um, general recognition that uh, we need to be there, we need to be there soon. Um, uh, Kyiv uh, accepts it, Moscow accepts it. The civilian death toll from Ukraine's deadliest attack in weeks now stands at 25 after a Russian rocket slammed into a train station in the Dnipro region. A young boy also killed by a strike on a nearby home. But Russia says more than 200 Ukrainian soldiers were killed, a claim Ukraine has not acknowledged. And in a move not seen in years, Russian President Vladimir Putin is ordering the expansion of his military by 10 percent, adding nearly 140,000 soldiers. It's a move some believe could mean Putin is gearing up for a long war. Now, according to the White House, in a call between President Zelensky and President Biden, the two leaders are demanding that Russia give up control of the Zaporizhia nuclear plant. They also discussed that $3 billion aid package to Ukraine. Craig. Megan Fitzgerald Force on the ground in central Ukraine. Megan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.